All right, everybody, welcome on in. Uh, today is going to be a kind of a different stream. Uh, just going to try this out. Uh, yes, right now I have... Oh, one sec, sorry. I feel like I need some water real quick, so give me one second. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> ah, voice is still warming up for the day. And G's Twitter is just blowing up. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to start today off with seeing about drawing or at least coloring. And it make an attempt if I begin banging my head against the wall, I am just going to go do a quick sketch. I suck. You're, you're good, sweetheart. Your follow Friday is always good. Very much appreciate it. Uh, there's the stream ping. I was curious why it was taking so long to do that. But other than that, uh, I'll try to go on in and try to do this. So first things first, uh, let's just go ahead kind of pick kind of the color. I need to kind of determine what the line source is. So I need to make a new layer. I'm going to make a new layer real quick. Paint layer. I'm going to drop the color group. Oh, that's right. There's one thing I still need to kind of determine. So I'll go back there and do that just because that's it without color. That's just the line art it with color. That's just the color ink. Kind of creepy with just the color ink. <laughs> so let's go through. Need to make a group layer in the group. A shadow. Now, if we can just get your, like, Fall Friday to be everybody getting the stream, that would be awesome, but... <laughs> I get I get Okay, kid. <laughs> I just like the effect it has, where more and more people get involved with it. It's just kind of cool. Alright, uh... And sorry, I also have a Twitch page open, too. Someone D is doing, like, their... It's doing the one movie tier list. Shadow. Yeah, I wish it just worked that easily. It's like, oh, yep, no, everybody, come on in. Okay, so for color, well, we're gonna need this, but let's have this be shadow. Paint brush, not erase, but do darken. Because we want it darker. Hmm. Well, that's like I'm in the layer. We go. Yep, that should do the trick. Hey, Squithulu, welcome on in! Glad you're able to join in on this art stream. Even though I'm not the greatest artist by any stretch of the definition. One sec. Yeah, I care. Hmm. Well, I, I can I can sketch, I can do line, line art very good. It's just coloring is my struggle. So that's that's kind of what I'm wanting the stream to be is just, hey, let's watch him, let's watch Ezra try to improve his art. 
So I'm just gonna kind of start by doing some basic stuff like okay this is like because again this is darker uh it's gonna be darker underneath here as well although i still like the way it's doing that opacity kind of like that layering and that's considered normal oh hi 3d welcome on in Good to see you. Glad you're able to tune in today. And sorry you were not able to stay fully for last night. All right. Now, now we got a show. Okay. <laughs> well, let me first uh, just this up. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna let's let's do something fun, okay? We'll we'll have my head banging session another time. Okay, so let's start with doing this. Let me just okay, good with that brush. Let me just kind of get a babe. Okay, I'm doing good. How about you? And yes, I'm. I originally learned on paper and then went to this is actually really I have done a couple of attempts at digital art but I'm not that good I'm better on paper but again this entire thing is me trying to improve I'm just trying to find the right brush not that honestly I think this one this one would be good for the initial sketch so I'm just gonna this and name this Sketch. Let's actually also get the group layer and name it Sketch Group Layer. Okay. Yeah, it's always a long process. Uh, it's always tricky, but hopefully it it goes well. So, question is, what pose shall we do? Uh, I had an idea in mind for a character. Again, this is all going to be Ezra, okay? It's, I am simping over my own character. So, it's just going to be a different version of Ezra here. I'm thinking of a, of a fun version. Okay, I think I found the pose I want to do, so let me just... <laughs> okay, so overall the pose itself will be a full body pose, so it's going to be one second. Helps if you're on the right layer. Uh, yeah, and again, this is just going to be a quick sketch, just to kind of get things in line. So, and yeah, not the big fan of that. <laughs> I would hope so. There we go. Actually, yeah, it's too big. It's just too big. So. Yeah, we want it roughly that size. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it, but I can see it pretty well on my screen. Okay. So yeah, we're going to do it like that. There we go. We're going to have the body go down this way. Or the body this way and then the legs gonna come up and over like that okay I'm just gonna drop my character I'm gonna try to draw them as like an elf princess kind of thing that's the idea so first off now let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so this is the plus side with this part okay so right there that line length. So with the shoulders, that please going in that direction. So then let me just, I'm gonna really focus on doing the head right now. Let's get the head done. So 
yeah, I'm gonna just freeze now a little bit. Yeah, let's try to smooth out that jawline. Because again, th this is just the initial sketch, so some of this will stay, some of it will go. Yeah, we'll do that and then soften out the shoulders a little bit. I should say that's more kind of neckline. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit because I do want to get this. Hey, okay. yeah. You still want to go that way. That's kind of the back. This is the front. Let me make that line just a little bit more definitive. Uh, yeah, then here's going to be the shoulder, the shoulder arm pose. Things that kind of go down because uh, they are resting on something. So, there's kind of the ground. So, kind of goes there. And, and is going out to the side here. And then their arm is doing this number and then coming up like that. And then that's their hand there. Okay, so again, rough, dirty. Okay, uh, let me make sure I got my portions right. So from there, yeah, here's about the belly button. But yeah, this is where and shift over. Yeah. So yeah, that's the knee for outermost leg. And then Oh the leg closest to us I should say. There and there. Okay. So there's our rough pose. So now let's go in and start adding a little bit more of the details. So first off, uh, um, I'm gonna start off with the face. So actually, let me just do this. Right there, and there's kind of the hairline. Okay, so let's start off with the nose. Let me just zoom in. That way we can get a good look at the nose. Oh, no, not like that. Okay, because we want to dip in. Have we go like that. Then let's start with the eyes. Here we go. Although now I'm looking at it, uh, the nose part, this, this entire part, Actually, it's going to be shifted over just a little bit, so it's not quite like that. More like going, like the center is still like right here. So, something like that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's just another layer first. Quickly the eye. Uh, honestly, the eyes are seeming a little small. Oh. Let's make them a little bit bigger. Like that. Okay.
let me just adjust my wire real quick because it's I usually have wireless headphones so when I'm drawing I don't really have to worry about it but they need to charge <laughs> like it's slightly open so something like that but now I feel like the face is a little elongated so actually let me do this yeah I know that's what I was thinking too is it kind of reminds me of like that Squidward the fancy looking Squidward And again, right now, this is just the skip, okay? It's... Okay, actually, I think I see one part of the problem. The left eye and the chin. So, actually, this is why I'm going to do this. Oh, okay, wait, I see. Or so I thought. Hmm. Oh, the music? Music, maybe. There we go. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not satisfied with the eyes. I'm not quite satisfied with the face shape either, so... So let's start off with the face shape first. I think the music that I was playing before, very reminiscent to like the... Uh... Oh, wait, oh, part of the reason why I do the eyes first is so in that way... It builds it up. I'm gonna do this. There we go. That that's an eye I will buy it. Okay, let's also do this. the eyes are not too close together. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do this. Let's see if I can do this. Here. 
Okay. Because, yeah, the eyes are st way too close together. Oh, okay. Dang, I missed it. Oh, well. Okay. You look. So now the question is oh, Come on, pull it up. Edit shape. Hmm. Ah, I guess that's not how you do it. All right, so that just means I'm gonna have to erase the eye. Let's. Yeah, the nose is actually going to help with this. So we want the upper part of the right, right around there. Got it. Let's stick That's a little dark. Looks good. That looks better. At least, it, if anything, it gives the illusion that there's a little bit more space. It's a actually, it almost looks like on the reference. <laughs> uh, well, so I originally did schooling in art, was wanting to be an illustrator. But I had a professor basically tell me that I will not be able to make a living from it. So I had to start looking elsewhere for a better education. And, and for the longest time I had a lot of issues with uh, drawing and art in general. I, I still have my issues. It's not been until recently that I've really gotten into, into this. And welcome on in, Danny! Happy to see that you were able to make it. But, uh, yeah, no, yeah, screw the professor. Uh, it's just kind of hard when the professor is just like, yeah, no, for what you're trying to do, I don't think you're going to be able to make a living from it. Just because your art style, the way you do it, it's, it's not going to be up to standard. So, it, it was really tough for me to go through it, so I honestly didn't pick up a pencil for a few years after that. And so... Uh, so finally, this is just me kind of wanting to kind of really get back into it. Again, I don't think I'm going to make it a career of any sort, but I think I can, but I'm wanting to enjoy it for myself, not what other people want it to be. Because at the end of the day, art comes down to you, I believe. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. No. And so he didn't like flat out tell me, oh, you're not going to make a living from it. He basically said, life is going to be hard for you. And so I was like, okay, I take that means I'm not that good. But again, that was, that was a while ago. How to do art. Uh, yeah, they can give you some points and tips and tricks and then try to advise you on how to do it. And it was my figure drawing teacher who 
Who's the one that basically kind of said that? There we go. That face is looking a lot better. Alright, so then I'm going to do... I'm going to kind of do the way they did their ears. Because yeah, they have them kind of going down. Out, kind of like that. A bit of a curve to it. Yep. At the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. It's what you like, what you're satisfied with. Okay. We're now going to move on to the body. I'm going to start off with the clavicle. And then some anatomy here, so... Actually, it's so right around here. Oh, there we go with that. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna kinda do this. For a big shape. And do it come? Well, let me do this, okay. Kinda like that. I don't like that. Okay. Again, I, I want to emphasize that this is a kind of a, a rough, rough draft. Again, this is just the sketch base, so if it looks like it's all over the place, that is how it's supposed to be. Actually, I'm going to do this. Get the general shape of the body first. Before I start really going to town on other parts of the body. So let me zoom out just a bitch. Yeah, it's all about layers. Gotta know what's on top. Kind of like that. And arm kind of goes down like that. Gotta get that nice little S curve. like that okay I'm saying now in college but in all my education life till now I didn't take single art class nice all right there's some things that art classes can help with like mostly for me what I really needed help with that I felt like I was really struggling with in college was really getting the shadows and highlights down that, and that for me is always like the most daunting thing for me because again, sketching, I can sketch all day. And their shoulder, his bicep, then forearm, wrist, that and arms I struggle with too. There's a lot of things I struggle with, alright? There's basic shape, and then from it, I can start
Yeah, actually, let me. I'm gonna do a different method for this part. Method that I've kind of come up with that kind of helps work for me is yeah, I do. I start off with this, and just so this way I got an idea of spacing. Because then I can just go boom, make this circle better. Yeah. I like that. I don't know what it is, but this. This eye right here just is a little, a little wonky, <laughs> and, I, and I think I have an idea why. But let me do this, and I just cannot seem to drop rest today. back to the sketch layer because I think this line right here is throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, let, let's get rid of it. There we go. Because honestly we wanted to kind of come down through. Oh so yeah, we want I like that. Not that. Not that. Actually, let me double check. There we go, that's better. Thanks, sweetie. And we have the body kind of and it dips out. This, that's probably where the actual outline of the body is, right there. Alright. Well, that, that's too much pressure. So yeah, then you have, because again, this is the rib cage right here. Then, yeah, you draw the rib cage, go up to and part of this circular part of the body. Okay, now let's get the shoulders done. With this other arm. Which actually, yeah, the you go like that. And go down to about like right here. And then it goes up right over here, but like that. Okay. Here's the outer leg. goes up like that. Okay. 
and we draw a bit of a calf. And we're having the rest of it go off the page. Top of the other leg. Because, yeah, technically, that's going to be where the other <laughs> part of the leg is going to start. It goes from here. So we got our basic pose. So now let's start adding some of the fun, more fun details. So I'm gonna click. Oh, luckily, with doing this, I can kind of see my character. So I'm gonna start by doing this. Uh, let me pull up my reference sheet actually. I think that's gonna help me more. There we go. So, I actually generally like to start kind of with the middle. Or it's more like that. Kind of gives that nice little messy look. Then we have this piece of down. Like so. And that's kind of what is that. Have the hair come up. Like that. And we kind of have a. Actually, okay, that. That's a little too. Or want you to show me like one of your French girls? Uh, I don't have French girls, so I don't know how to start. <laughs> Found the there. I get it. I get it. I understand it. I completely understand why. You kind of got to do it. Kind of like that. And because again, we got then kind of press the part of the hair. But then comes the ponytail that I have. That kind of goes off and more does something like that. I'll help you go. Thank you so much. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow. And you know what? Let me do one thing real quick because I forgot to throw something in this. Okay. Sorry. I just made this page this morning and I am so sorry. I should have, I should have, I need to have this. I am so sorry about that. But thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Senpai Kun. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Now the alert box has been activated. Uh, so let's go from there. I knew I forgot to add something. Uh, welcome to the Legion. 
Okay, and I think... Okay, then last part is the hair. Ah! <laughs> Ah, sometimes I hate my tablet. Okay, you guys just gonna hear a lightsaber a few times. I really need to get a new cable for this. So, I'm just gonna switch over to the chatting screen until I get this fixed real quick. <laughs> so just give me one moment. Now, this cable is like so delicate that if it's just slightly out of sync, it's just gonna completely disconnect. Kind of, yeah, like what happens is when the cable gets Single just enough, it will completely shut down. I can't even describe it. It's the cable that connects into the Wacom tablet. I guess I have it just the right angle. It's like, I think part of it might be is like how it connects to the HDMI. So, yeah! Fun tape, fun tablet, right? I edited my computer that instead of the like did it did it did it did it it's a lightsaber sound effect instead uh, come on okay It's got to be something between like the HDMI part of this, the actual tablet. Okay, okay. Got it working for. Let me. Everything back around. Okay. All right, and we're back. See. And just need to make sure the mouse is here. Get layer. Okay, now the top is not responding. What? What the heck is going on? <laughs> All right, one sec. Tablet, tablet's still being funky. Yep, tablet's still being funky. We're just gonna be on the chatting part for a bit. Uh, let me. Okay. Let me just do this real quick. Uh, let me save this project. Cause right now it's almost, the tablet right now is working as like a second monitor right now. 
save it as Because yeah, I'm just gonna unplug it, plug it back in. Let me see. Because yeah, it's not even tracking my pen. Oh, maybe it's my computer that's having issues. I hope not. Okay, now turn the tablet back on. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking it might be something with the GPU. Because that's what's powering this. Is it goes through the GPU. I feel like that might be what's causing it to wonk out maybe. Let me, let me try this. Right, yep, you're good. You're doing troubleshooting. It's not software, it it's hardware. Cause even when I just went back there to like look at the cable for the HDMI part of this, it it was the GPU was getting a little hot. I really do believe it's it's the wiring with the tablet because I because even on my MacBook it does this so it's it's the tablet it's it's an older tablet and, and it's the cable too Now it's just not even bringing it up as, yeah, I'm getting a no input signal on my tablet, so that means it's not reading it right. Yeah, okay, now, like, the pencil is oddly tracking, but it's not on the right screen. Like, so, yeah, no, it, it, it's the tablet. The tablet's, the tablet's the problem child right now. But 
And I can add a tablet to the wish list, but these bad boys are pricey. The one I'm using was around six hundred dollars. Messing with the wire. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I'm sure I can get it working again. It's just my taking longer than hoping. Well, now let me do this. And with that... We are back in business. Okay, how about now? Can you hear me? I don't know. Again? I think with all the unplugging and plugging back in, I think it did something. They're just like, yeah, we're just gonna turn off your mic. Okay, so... Okay, so now the next question that apparently nobody heard was what kind of dress? I pick? Should we do kind of like a long flowing kind of dress? Shorts, 
skirt. What kind of vibe should you know? Let me flowery. Okay. So there, there's the pose in its entirety. Uh, the reference photo I was using is gonna drag it over here because it's from Pinterest. It was this one? So the question is, what kind of dress? So what kind of dress? Like again, we got flowery dress, but hmm. I'm thinking hmm. I don't know what I'm thinking. Actually I have an idea, like for for the flowery part. Ooh, actually I kind of like this. But let's go a little bit long flowing. I am literally just like on Pinterest looking for inspiration. So like one idea I'm I'm seeing a lot is kind of like uh kind of goes around but kind of leaves the back a little bit more open. It kind of goes up through here. Here. Uh, we'll get to colors here in a bit. I'm just trying to come up with like an, a design. Like we could do kind of like a little bit more open. A kind of a v-neck kind of thing and have it flow. With maybe a slit along the side. That way it more comes across like this. I'm thinking no sleeves. Or if we do sleeves, have it be just kind of like puffy, kind of like uh I like yeah. Kind of a frilly on the side there. So that's one idea. Uh, another idea I'm seeing a lot is kind of like a high neck collar, but it like connects down. Like it more does this kind of number where it leaves a nice little window. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking no sleeves as well. Yeah, they kind of leave this kind of impression. Maybe I can a little bit more like that, and have part of this. Let's go there. Part of it go there, and then yeah, we just kind of and there's that idea, but. Another idea. Oh, I'm just trying, I'm thinking about designs here. I'm like, because again, kind of want elf characters. Actually, I think, I think I might do, so here, you know, we'll look through Pinterest together. Because again, like, uh, I was seeing stuff similar to, like again, there's this kind where, again, that one's more strapless. 
Okay, I really kind of do like this design though. I do like the colors of this one. I was thinking maybe that design, but... Yeah, there's a lot of Zelda pictures. Like, actually, if we could go down a little bit more. Boom, Zelda. Another Zelda, another Zelda. Zelda. I think that's Zelda, yep. Zelda or Gender Bent Link? Not sure. But, you know what? I think, I think I might do something like this for the top design where it's this, this top part, and then connects down underneath maybe. Okay, go have breakfast, Danny. Go get your food. Do what you need to. Alright, hope to hope to catch you later. I'm probably ending this in about an hour. You know what? How about this, but yeah, with no sleeves. What do you think? Okay. And that's what I'm going to kind of go with. So, then that means let's go ahead and zoom in here. So, first off, let's actually really kind of round them out. That way they're not square. Okay. So, then what we're doing. We're gonna do it like this. And then the dress. And it goes down. And right here, it kind of would flow out. It would kind of puff out with the way the pose is. But yeah, this. It's got a nice little jewel in the middle, which I like jewels. Oh, got a bit of a shaky hand there. Actually, right here it would kind of cut down underneath the arm. That's a linear. Then yes. The overall shape of the dress. Actually, let me zoom. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have it kind of curve and taper off right there. And then I can actually then have part of it come through here. Have another part of the dress go through there. I'll cover some of this up. And that part is gonna drape off to the other end of it. 
So then, let's do... But the way they have it kind of working is... Dress is divided into the parts. Something more like that. And let me just do this as well. Let me go back down to the sketch layer. I'm dropping the opacity. Gotta throw my necklaces. So first off, we do yeah, necklace and choker. So I'm just gonna do a slightly different design for the choker. That. And then have the star pendant associated with myself right there and then I'm gonna have my essence right there oh sorry and like I bump into the microphone and I'm just gonna do a quick little sketchy poo at what some of them do for like off the shoulder looks actually ooh, actually I like that I guess that let's that be like connected to the collar to the choker that yeah, okay let me just now quickly go back and just some there here real quick okay uh, I think that's a good start for right now I am going to now merge all these bad boys together so that way it's the sketch layer. Because all this was sketch layers. Because now I'm going to do the line art. Wait, let me do this. Layer inert. Then new group layer. There we go. See now this this is where I know a lot of artists hate their lives. <laughs> and this is where I start labeling. Because you need to know. Now I got it now. I swap over to a different brush, one that's a little bit nicer on um, when it comes to line weight, but I need a size of it. 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hear a lightsaber one more time, but it's my headphones. So I think they're charged up enough. the iris inner part of the eye okay. I'm not doing anything super Top the eye to pop. Oh, wait, I want to use it on the actual eye layer. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the face. And I'm going to. Uh, yes, I do play a little bit of Genshin, although I haven't played it in like, uh, like, gosh, almost two years. Let me go ahead now, I'm just doing it. Well, actually, let me go back to the face part. Yeah, I want to get more like this. I clean up the line weight. Okay. Uh, this one, I'm going to call it hair. Yeah, Genshin character designs are just absolutely amazing. Like, especially their costume designs is very unique and very interesting, and I love how they base it on, like, all the different regions.
Uh, I actually got some other brushes that I might try to experiment with. Let me see. Ah, just stick with what I got. As you may or may not be coming up this way. Yes, yes. We may be planning a couple of different uh, cosplay characters from Genshin. I like that brush. Actually, let me let me redo this part. Because what I want it to do, I want it to flow. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, is it there? Let me just do the. Let me get some water real quick as well. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> oh, let me pull up my reference again of, of myself. That's right, okay. Now the question is, other than Melly, who is going to guess what characters I would want to cosplay in Genshin? The reason why Melly you don't guess that is because you already know. It'll be so cute! I hope so. Melly, we gotta give people other chances as well. It can't just be you that knows everything. Because we gotta give other people a chance, okay? We can't just go spouting out the answer right now. You do know everything, I'm just saying, don't spoil it for everybody else. Let's have them take a guess. Okay, let's do this. Because it's not a guessing game if you already know the answer. Oh, okay, still working on hair. In it though? Well, for you, it won't be guessing because you know the answers. For everybody else is supposed to be a guessing game. 
official, uh, official would be interesting, but I just don't think, uh, I never really connected well with official. Oh, you know this, if you're not, you're not paying attention. And that's a whole different issue, babe. <laughs> Fischl's cool, definitely, I agree, Fischl is really cool. Oh, I know one more thing okay, I'm gonna add to this, okay. A is for horses. Let me do this in the face later. Because, ah, uh, <laughs> Raiden's good. Raiden would be an interesting one, but y'all remember, I haven't really played since Raiden character I want to cosplay as is part of Liyue. He's from Liyue. can't believe I almost forgot about eyebrows. Up a little bit bigger. More like that. Okay. Might need to go back down. Everybody, everybody still has eyebrows, babe. I have eyebrows. <laughs> I need to get them waxed, but yeah, I still have eyebrows. <laughs> you have eyebrows. Zooming out. He's looking pretty good. A ponytail right through here. Mine art's a little too heavy. Not one. Yeah, that's what eyebrows are, babe. going to be body. Okay, now let's dive on into the body. What? You?
Oh, okay, maybe not that big of a dip there. Just like, I think it's the tail end of it. Don't want me. If we just like, like that. Good. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to add another layer that's all dress. Okay. Line art, you don't want to do those multiple lines, you want to do one line. Like that. And let's do another like this. you're liking the look of it. Let me zoom out. I Yeah, let me do those lines in one clean swoop. Yeah, more like that. But let's make it a little bit thicker. That's actually kind of how it can look like that. Okay.
Let's see. Mm. What is it, sweetie? Yeah, that could be fun. We could do Jackbox tomorrow. Play Jackbox with chat. Alright, and technically the choker is part of the dress. Yes, that would be a lot of fun. I think chat would have a good time with it. You guys think that would be a lot of fun? Okay, uh, seen a little bit. Thank you again. Thank you for stopping in. Hopefully, I, hopefully I'll see you back here shortly. Okay, then I'm just gonna do this one as necklace. Zoom in on this one. That's first stop. Let's make oh, that's too much. Let's make the housing portion. Here, maybe not do this part yet. Let's draw the crystal part first and then add that. housing. Okay, now we add the more intricate details. Which I just call my blurbs. Okay. That's how it's starting to look. All right, I'm gonna go back down to the body area. And work on the arm. Okay. I'm gonna just sit up for a sec, get my posture. I'm good. Just take a second.
Okay. Uh, let's get things popping, locking and moving. Yup. Big stretchy. little bit of break as I'm looking at Twitter. <laughs> uh, which one's this? Okay, it's for that one. I will finish up the arm for the line art and I think I might call that it for the day. Okay, let me see if I can go back to my one first reference because I still need a really get the hand taken care of. That was like right at the top. Yep, it was one of the first ones. Okay. Here, I'm gonna do this. Actually, new layer. Hand. Yeah, that looks a little too awkward. Let's see. That feels a little bit more neat. So, that, that one's more scary. So. I really hate drawing hands. I hate it so much. It's more on the point where like I don't want to dry hands, I'm just gonna finish up the arms. Get it to the point. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go back. Oh the sketch mark. That's her hand like that. Because, okay, main thing you need to remember is hands are kind of square-ish. So, thumb is right here. Index finger is right here. It's going! Well, here. I'm about ready to start wrapping it up. I'm just <laughs> not wanting to draw hands so much. Yeah, 
I hate drawing hands so much. So... Yeah. <laughs> My just but yeah, this is what the sketch is looking like so far. I'm working on the line art part. Line arts are always a little tricky. But it, it's it's coming along. <laughs> Let me just do this real quick. I'll save. Nope, instead she's singing Peaches. Heard her singing that last night. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's... Speaking of, here's Peach. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try painting. I'm gonna take a break from that one and just be about doing highlights and that kind of stuff. Uh, man. Let's start with shading, okay? We don't need it that big, okay? Okay. Let me do this. Let me get that. Get a pinch darker. Back to the brush. Okay, maybe not right there for that. But more under. Uh, yeah. So I got first off tackle where the shadows are going to be. Right there, although I need. Yeah, actually, that's I think supposed. Is that supposed to be white? No, no, I think that was pink. I think that was pink. Yeah. There, because it's because the shadow is kind of down. That's. Actually, no, let me look at uh, Princess Peach reference here. Because I need to see how the shadows react to the dress. That's kind of what I did with some like main areas. So, okay, okay, that's right. That was kind of the pose I was looking at. Actually, okay, well, nope, that was fine. 
me just clean that one up a little bit more. So it was there that was wrong. And instead, if you that. That part in. Bus there. Kind of. Here. Nothing too crazy, something kind of light. Actually, then we can extend it there. Actually, right through here would actually be a lot more than this. With like a couple of media. Apparently, where it's at. Go ahead, clean up the sides here. There's no reflection really underneath, so I'm gonna need to do it like that. Actually, kind of shade it more like that. dress shaded. So now let's work on the skin, but let me name this dress. And then I make it a little bit darker. So a pink brush. Skin tones also a huge struggle, but, but the dress is looking a lot better. So honestly, I might just focus on the dress. But that's all we're gonna have time for today. So let me go ahead and bring this back over to just chatting for a minute. Yeah, again, again, thank you so much everybody for tuning in. Uh, I'm, I'm always hesitant when uh, showing off my drawing or even trying to do a drawing just because 
I'm not the greatest, uh, but I'm trying to improve, which is what I think is the thing that we all need to strive for, is just improvements, trying to get better than we were. So is there anything you guys have left to say before I end the stream? It was so nice for you to actually be able to tune in. Like again, I know everybody's got busy schedules and that's what makes streaming so hard is it's people trying to accommodate my schedule. So I'm just so very appreciative for everybody being able to come on in and actually support the stream, be a part of it. And I hope you also have a great rest of your day as well. Because again, I'm just so very grateful for all the love and support you guys have given me. I'm doing my best and I actually got a new outfit that uh, hopefully next, probably in a week or two, we'll be able to kind of show off a little bit. So that's a fun thing to kind of stay tuned for. I'll, I'll at least post pictures in the Discord of what the outfit is, but me actually wearing it, that's a whole different ballgame. But I am so excited. <laughs> All right, but with that, again, everybody, thank you so much again for tuning in. Uh, I'm always hesitant with the drawing, so I will do this when I can and I, when I feel confident I have a creative day. But again, uh, we, me and Melly are going to be playing playing something tomorrow, whether that be Jackbox or Roblox. We're still trying to figure out because we want to make sure we have enough pe people tuning into stream in order to play a Jackbox. But Nonetheless, we are so happy and we are so excited to be able to see you guys and play with you guys tomorrow. So we will catch you guys then. Bye.